Nicoletti and Lucy. Uh, my name is Lucy Nguyen. I own a school called Sunshine Circus Arts in Delray Beach, Florida. I teach aerial arts mostly and this is fabric and the lira and trapeze. I started at Florida State University with just the FSU circus and there's a lot of, you know, flying and ground, there's adagio, there's all sorts of circus type acts. So right now I have mostly aerial acts, but I hope to add um, some acrobatics and stuff like that. I have classes, my website is sunshinecircusarts.com. Nice, all right. Well, I'm so excited. I love okay. this stuff. All right, Lucy, so can you tell us what we're gonna be learning today? Right now we're going to start out with the fabrics. Um, I have it tied in a knot and we are going to kind of stretch out first in the knot and do some basic stuff. All right. cool. So you'll need to take a step back. Yeah. All right, so you're going to put our arms through. We are going to lean back, bring our knees up, straddle, let go with our hands. And then look pretty. <laughs> Point our toes or flex. Um, then next we'll bend our knee, drop the other leg back. You can lean back. We can grab our foot. Stretch. All right. <laughs> so you try it first. So lean back. Bring your legs up and straddle outside. No, no. Oh. Out. Yeah. Oh. Lean back. Yeah. There you go. Now you can straddle, keep your legs down. There you go. Bring your knees up and out to the side. There you go. Straddle down. There you go, you can let go with your hands. So graceful. Bring your knees up and outside of the fabric. There you go. Now outside, toes towards the ground. Here, we want a video. <laughs> now we can bring one leg, one leg, in, one leg in front, and then let go with your hands. Bring the other leg back towards me. Let go of the ground. We're not touching the ground. Yeah, it's aerial, so off of the ground. There you go. Okay. Reach back behind you and grab your legs. Yeah, that way. There you go. Yeah. No. Okay, I want this. Right. Oh, I got it. Yeah. All right. Oh, man. Stretch your quads. Bend one leg, and the other leg will drop back. Oh. There you go. Oh, hey. You look like you can do this. <laughs> Can people pass out when they do this? Um, if they feel like they're going to need to, then we you better stand back up. <laughs> Bring your feet down. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Next time, we're just going to stand on it. Really, we'll start out with basic stuff. Stand on it. Upright. Hold about shoulder height. We're just gonna arch back. Keep yeah. And we'll drop our hips down. And bring our knees back in and stand back up. Okay. I'm not any taller than you. All right. Hold a little hold shoulder stand up straight. Hold a little higher by your shoulders and then you're gonna arch back. Alright, hold on straight. Yeah. That's it. Straight arms. There you go. <laughs> wow, look at that arm. Thanks, guys. We're working on it. <laughs> Straighten your arms. Keep your hips up. <laughs> All right. Now drop your hips and lift your head back up. Straighten your leg. Keep the leg straight. And then you can drop your hips. There you go. Very nice. Yep, bend your knees and come back up. And you can come down. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna do the same thing. One footed. One foot. So leg in front, same thing, arch. Oh, okay. And get that just to get used to it. How much weight are these silks able to withstand? At the end of the day, they're just silk, but mm -hmm. they seem pretty durable. They're not silk, they're actually nylon. Okay, arch back, bring that leg up. 
So you're doing like a split, yeah. Try to keep this leg straight, there you go. The equipment is rated for 2,000 pounds. Because what? even though, yeah. 2,000? Yeah, keep this leg straight. <laughs> and then. <laughs> All the equipment should be rated, basically they need to be strong enough to hold a car. So the fabric, you'd be surprised it actually, they're really strong. So leg out in front and arch back. Keep that leg straight. There you go. <laughs> so the next thing, this will be the more <laughs> interesting. Okay, we stood on one leg. We're gonna bring whichever leg we put down, that shoulder is gonna come through. So we're gonna have the fabric in our, on our belly, kind of lean forward on the belly. This leg, we're gonna hold about head level so then we're gonna turn under it and then get back on it. So then we'll do it one more time. Starting to wrap up my calf, I don't want that, so I push it down. Do that. You can do up to three times or more if you want. And then you can let go and look pretty. And then you can grab your foot if you want. So we'll unwind, bring our knee back in. And then grab the other one, come back down. <laughs> so you two will be doing that. <laughs> okay, so the other foot will stay in the back. Now, you bring this leg behind you, just free leg. Mm -hmm. Now go back, Wait, turn back, bring that leg back. Through, yeah, yeah. No, no, on behind you, yeah. Oh, behind me. So, Put your stomach on the front one. Yeah. So now you're turning, you're gonna lean, hold a little higher, both hands in, no, not that high, like right about head level, uh, but both hands in front. So now you're gonna turn around this fabric, come around and bring this leg through, and then come back up on top. So lean your stomach on it. So turn your body, leg through, there you go, lean out. So put your stomach on it, kind of lean on it. You can do it again. I got this. Now one more. See, now you gotta push that yellow fabric to keep that leg straight. Yeah. Keep pushing. I'm pulling some hairs. <laughs> oh. Leg back up and over. Yeah, there you go, right there. You can do one more or you can stay there if you want. Yep, you can take your foot off. I think I'm good. Wait. Take your foot off. All right, okay. There you go. Look up. Get your balance. You should have your belt. I think I'm on the Titanic. <laughs> If you feel balanced, you can let go with your own hands. <laughs> I mean, you can keep, well, yes. take that look. Yeah, you, people can keep going if you have that back flexibility. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. My back. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you got a good split. Wow. All right, hold on. One, one more, yeah. one more. <laughs> okay, bring that foot up. Oh my God, that's hard. Can we see you just go at it? Um, I'll do some, okay, I'll do something. <laughs> I'm not gonna do like a whole performance because I have it stretched out. But we'll do something. So this would be the split. It would be kind of something you do. The only problem with this is uh, sit here, relax, and then usually we'll, next ones we'll do is straddle back. At least that. Now it's in the way.
Thank you. All right, Lucy, thank you so much. That was incredible. I loved watching you, by the way. Was, thank, you. Awesome. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Um, if you're interested, there's a lot of, um, they call them aerial arts or circus arts or aerial dance. So if you Google those two, three terms, you should be able to find a place near you if you're in the South Florida area. I'm here. I have a space here in Delray Beach and the website is sunshinecircusarts.com. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Ha! <laughs> so your hands are with, if not behind your ears. And the reason being is because then that gets your rotation going, so when you pull your legs in, you don't have that much of a rotation to go. You're already starting your rotation from the get-go. So it's very, very important to get your...